You know, some paintings really have the feel of a piece of my history, and this is certainly one of those. About 10 years ago, I started a series of paintings uh, entitled the Christmas Cottage Series. You know, each painting in the Christmas Cottage Series is really an attempt by me as an artist to identify what Christmas means, not just as a holiday, but as a time of family celebration, a symbol of family unity and love. Last year's painting, the one immediately before this one, was entitled A Holiday Gathering, and that piece really celebrated the activity of Christmas. Christmas as a busy season full of celebration and full of family gatherings. Whereas this painting, Evening Glow, I wanted to create a more intimate setting, something a little more restful, more tranquil, uh, more of that sense of humankind as, as a participant in nature gathered together in the glow of evening as we see the stillness of a winter pond and the quiet of a little brook that goes beside our cabin as we come in for the evening to rest. When I start a Christmas piece, I always think of what it would be like to be inside that setting. Here's a cabin with the windows all aglow. Inside this little cabin, there would be a sense of love and tranquility as the family gather together. And yet, outside, you see that same sense of tranquility. So it's kind of a harmony between what's outside and what's inside. That's what excited me about this subject. There was a lot of fun details in this painting, and there's 10 ends in this painting as a tribute to my wife, Nanette. I chose 10 because this is the 10th piece in the series, and it will be the last piece in the Christmas Cottage series. Uh, in fact, as I worked on each successive painting, I was always daydreaming about this final piece. I wanted it somehow to have even more of a sense of light, even more of a sense of the harmony that we see in nature as Christmas comes. I love painting rustic fences. The uh, little fence in this painting was taken from my neighbor's fence. He has an old split rail fence that runs along the length of his property. And I love the idea of a fence that is covered with snow. The snow has just fallen and nature has been covered with a quiet blanket of white. The little pond really has a sense of tranquility to it. I wanted to capture the sense that there's light on the distant trees and that if you were to sit at the edge of the pond, you'd watch that light beginning to fade. It's a sunset in the forest. What a tranquil, beautiful time. The little stream that flows from the pond has a sense of activity as the water just gently flows over the stones. You see the light reflecting on the foamy bubbles that gather at the edge of each stone. And again, that suggests the glow that comes from the cabin. The light from the cabin glows in such an extraordinary manner. I love the idea that it almost is a supernatural sense of light, a, a symbolic use of light to suggest the love that is within the cabin. And there's a, a trail that leads up perhaps where footsteps have come and gone friends and neighbors, family people who would come and gather in the cabin on this cold evening. I couldn't resist putting our light post out there in front of the cabin. It suggests welcome, and I hope this painting, for everyone who sees it, will feel that sense of welcome, that they will want to enter into that little cabin by the lake. This has been an incredible sense of fulfillment for me. Ten pieces which celebrate the spirit of Christmas. Now, of course, as a Christian, I believe in the spirit of Christmas to be more than just uh, a time to gather together and share gifts. It is a time to celebrate new life, and that truly is the meaning of Christmas, the birth of hope for the world. And I hope when you see this painting, you feel that hope. God bless you.